first thing I, I'd like to say is that the, the whole denialist space is dead. There's, I mean, it would be you know, absolutely wonderful if, if, if it could be shown that climate change is not happening and it is not a result of human activities and so on. But I, I think the, the real debates are around the solutions stroke fault solutions. What, you know, what's happening with carbon trading? You know, is there any hope for it? Is there a way if we, you know, if we, if we drew up a, a, a world a carbon budget on a per capita approach, would there be a space in that case for carbon trading? Um, has it actually resulted in emissions? You know, those, you know what is red? Um, Red was um, uh, uh, finalised in the agreement in, in Cancun, and we had a series of, of you know, pro-Red um, articles in South Africa, that, and 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 that's where um, there wasn't enough um, uh, uh, sort of critical appraisal of what Red actually is about. Um, you know, are there risks? What's happening on the ground to communities who are affected by um, uh, by deforestation? What's happening to communities who are affected by Red? Because because there are a whole lot of um, um, uh, evictions and, and, and sort of violent crimes um, um, related to red type projects. Um, and, and there wasn't that sort of, um, and, and I'm not seeing that in, in South African um, uh, media, that sort of engagement with, with all of the com um, complex um, solutions, non-solutions. Um, I, I also think it's r just really, really critical that we start talking about adaptation a lot more. You know, in, in, in South Africa, mitigation's quite crucial because we have this this um, f phenomenal um, em emissions um, level um, but what we need to be um, talking about um, basic service delivery how do how to make sure that people um, have access to food um, affordable energy um, water those sorts of things and, and that ties in with with a lot of larger development issues that we're already dealing with which which again brings <coughs> climate change home it's not something that's alien um, and this big monster crisis that's, that's far away. It's something that we're already dealing with. Um, and, and, I, I, and I think that, that we do need to start talking about, um, about those, those sort of adaptations, um, uh, adaptation issues more. But uh, also, if you're covering the negotiations, I mean, uh, this, this space is like um, a soap drama, okay? You've got these different countries with different agendas and different deals and um, different you know, focal points, and, and a lot of the activists who've been covering the negotiations um, know the dramas quite well. And, and spinning stories around, you know, who's doing what, or who's, uh, uh, you know, th that's really where the stories are in the negotiations. Um, and, and, and I think there's, there's huge p potential for, for making the negotiations. There's very complex, boring texts, very accessible, um, j just by looking at the, at the sort of almost personality dramas. Um, but, but again, the, the linkages between NGOs and, um, um, and, and journalists has to, be, has to be stronger, I think, especially in South Africa.